Hi, welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 3rd of March 2015. Just before we get into the normal order events, I just want to talk to you about the trading range which uh, we have within the software. If I'll just find the right piece of software, just one second. Uh, inside of the indicator section, we have the trade markup, and during uh, last month, and the month before the volatility changed in the market and what we did was alter the settings between uh, only to mark up trades with bars between 8 and 25 points and then we adjusted and moved it back and then the market uh, changed again so what I did was get uh, one of the support team to actually trade the markets with the settings the 8 and 25 and as a result for trading through February we can see that uh, by using the trailing stop approach which is in the manual we had 130 points profit uh, and only seven on the scalp when we had the adverse moves and then the really uh, polar opposite when we saw the market become really quiet compared to the regular settings where we had a net of 23 and 64 for the trailing as well so as the market's changing and has changed it may be worthwhile adjusting to the 8 and 25 for the trade markup for the moment and this is based upon how the volatility has changed in the market so you just want to take a note of that because it certainly shows uh, a big difference as a doubling of the long-term potential profits there compared to uh, staying with the 20 point range so let's take a look and see how the market fared during yesterday's uh, trading session so we see the pre-market uh, price is trading down to the 18,150 level, the market finding support here, and then just staying to this line uh, until the market opened. There was no news out yesterday, but for whatever reason, the market was then forced higher. We see the market trading all the way back up 100 points to the 18,250 level. You can see the market banging its head against this. And of course, at uh, this point, we're already into all-time high territory. The market then having a breather and then coming back up to the same level again. We then had a sell signal. We saw the market uh, moving lower. Uh, and on this occasion, unfortunately, the market uh, not actually uh, continuing lower. The market finding support. And then we see uh, with the buying pressure there, we see the market turning around. And then we see the market reversing with a potential buy signal there. So the market's uh, moving uh, higher, coming out uh, around uh, just under break even there as the market drove through and went on to make an, a new all-time high. So we see the market trading up higher and stronger there. Bit of uh, new professional buying there just at uh, uh, 2045 quarter to nine before we went up all the way before the uh, close there so the potential in this trade around uh, five minutes to nine uh, is going to give you around 27 points and then of course less the 12 point loss that we saw on uh, the uh, sell signal there so an odd sort of a day it was uh, when I was sitting watching the market uh, early afternoon you could see that it wanted to go on and attack the all-time high in the daily chart which is something that I've been uh, barking on about and I expect this to continue as well uh, for the near term as well so in the daily you can see that all-time high new all-time high being put into place there and again expect this to continue and I'll show you why in just a moment let me just show you what the new all-time high is it's uh, 18,280 there this is uh, the next upside target obviously is 18,300, 350 and so on and I would, again I would expect the market to continue to do that. What's interesting in the daily chart, I'm just going to uh, come back here and you can see how much volume there was during January. It was very volatile, it was really choppy and you can see there the volume increased as it did in this uh, pullback down to uh, the pogo stick there where we saw the market come back. But notice now that the market is going up on fresh air. There's a, a definite drop down in the volume there. So the market trying to uh, move high. Well, it is moving high. It's not trying. It is moving higher. 
but on absolutely no fuel, no buying or whatsoever. And this is how it's been for the last uh, X number of years. You get the selling out of the way. The Ponzi scheme stays intact by the market traders just marking prices up and those that are in the market uh, just making more and more on their investments. So again, until something comes and stops this market from moving higher, it is the only game in town at the moment. There's no money in bonds, nothing in gold, silver at this time, nothing in commodities, unless you're shorting commodities. The only game is the stock market, and the stock market is where the QE money is going. So until that changes, it's the upside for this market. In the implied volatility, down to 10.85 from 11.06. And again, this is why this market's going up. Until these two lines uh, converge and cross, and the blue is back below the yellow, the market remains long. End of. That's how it's been for uh, ever since I've been tracking this since 1992-3, and that's how it will uh, always be, even though we've got the QE money uh, behind it. Just get a bit more volatility, as we saw uh, in January and February, where it, it uh, sprang back. But other than that, uh, this market is off for a period of uh, calm and uh, trending back to the upside again, unless, of course, uh, there's anything of a geopolitical nature that comes out to stop the market. But if there isn't, then it's moving back to the upside. Right, that's it uh, for this morning. I will uh, see you in tomorrow's edition of the Market Alert. Just to recap as regards to the settings, the, uh, the 8 and uh, 25 setting, which I'll just... Uh, show you again uh, in the trading range 8 uh, as a minimum and uh, 25 I'll just put that in there for you for the uh, the maximum there that's uh, in the five minute chart so that you can see there and that's producing uh, more longer term uh, trades as well right uh, I'll see you in tomorrow's and as ever thanks uh, for your support and also for watching